Welcome to the Zen Zone. Today, today, you're going to get to see some of my favorite shots taken from Red Rock. Red Rock is on the west side of Las Vegas. It is about a 30 minute drive from the strip. Easy to get to. Red Rock is one of my favorite places to go in Las Vegas. The scenery is like something out of Mars. Like it's like how you would picture Mars or something from your wildest imagination. These red rocks. Definitely a place I highly recommend visiting. I hope these drone shots, which don't quite fully capture the full beauty of it. I hope they're enough to at least inspire you to want to come check out Red Rock. If you're ever in Vegas, please come check out Red Rock. You could drive around it. You could ride around it. It's a place you have to see for yourself. All right, this first shot was thanks to Pevra Personal Electric Vehicle Riders Association putting on this ride to Red Rock. Check out these beautiful red rocks at the entrance of our trip. You can actually pull off and climb up these rocks. There's lots to explore. It feels like at a big jungle gym. But we're on our wheels, so we're going to stick to the road for now. There is some off-roading, and you'll see that later. This first drone shot is a really fun shot. I'm trying the auto-tracking feature on my previously owned drone, the DJI Mavic 2. Or did I have the first one? I think I might have had the first one, DJI Mavic 1. The auto-tracking feature where you drag a box around your frame, and it follows you. And it does a pretty good job of keeping up in these open spaces where there isn't a lot of trees or aerial obstructions. It does kind of fall off here because we're going too fast for it. We had to lower our speed quite a bit just so the drone could keep up. Hopefully with my new drone, that's not a problem. I do have confirmation on my Skidio 2 batch one coming up. It should be shipping December. I'm really excited for that. Stay tuned for some really awesome drone shots. Here's a little bit of that off-roading that I was talking about. There's all kinds of trails like this that you can kind of explore. You may have to push or pull or <laughs> maneuver your EUC and some of it, but uh, it's not too difficult. And so you can explore a lot of different trails like that. Within the Red Rock, there aren't too many charging stations, though. There might be one at the visitor center. I'll have to explore that next time I'm there. And I've heard there's some at like the security uh, gates at the front. So like maybe in an emergency situation, you can use those. Hopefully there's one at the visitor center that's more accessible. This is my longest drone shot. Really enjoyed it. Really smooth, long, windy road that you can maneuver your EUC on. Definitely it's better for the thicker wheeled EUCs in my opinion. You definitely want a better wheel for this type of ride. I would say at minimum a 16 inch wheel would probably be best. You could do it on a smaller wheel, but the bigger the wheel, the more comfortable you're going to be on this type of road. Plus you could do some of the off-roading. So my Nicola really loves this loop. I would love the Nicola Plus though, so I could go a bit faster. I hit my fastest speed on this loop, 34.9 miles per hour going downhill. I would love to do this loop with a faster wheel. My dream wheel right now would be the Nicola Plus, but the 100 volt monster, oh, that, the monster on this loop would be so much fun. I would really like to try that. The monster is just a beast of a wheel. I got to ride one for the first time and it was a lot of fun. I would love to ride one again. It's an amazing wheel. But I, my Nikki is just so like solid for all around riding. It does a little bit of everything. I think with the Nikola Plus, I could easily hit 40 and I would love to hit 40 uh, and be stable at that speed. It would really help with my Postmates delivery soon, which is something I also do on my EUC. I'm up almost to $500 here. Yeah, gonna get try to get up to 2k so I could buy me a Nicola Plus. This is the end of our little Red Rock journey. 13 mile loop, 13 to 15 mile loop. Not too strenuous. Definitely go when it's not too hot. I like it when it's in the morning and the colors are very vibrant or in the evening when the sun's going down. Just hits those Red Rocks in the right way and you get some really good footage. I will be going back to Red Rock 
to get some more footage when I get my new drone. So if you want to see some really cool EUC drone footage, stay tuned. Follow me on Instagram, Zenly Gaming. Follow on YouTube. Share, like the video. I really appreciate you all. Let's build up the EUC community together. Let's keep each other safe. Let's get the community positive. Until next time, 